Come on! We're almost there! Hey, right! This room is reserved for A, gifted tutors. B, hardworking students who want to improve their grades. You are C, none of the above. No, please, Mrs. Godfrey, I really need to speak to Gina. I saw the video. Gina's too good for you, maggot. Oh, 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 hey, I think I see a kid misbehaving. What, what, where, where's my bat? Hey, right. Oh, Gina! You... <laughs> What do you want, jerk face? I know this is gonna sound crazy, but if you don't leave with me now, you could get hurt! You want me to run away with you, Nate, right? That's, uh, so stupid. <laughs> Nate, <laughs> right! Look, we, we don't have much time. C can you just trust me? And why should I trust you? Would I be spending my time talking to you right now if something wasn't terribly wrong? Point taken. Okay, let's go. Ah! If you finally open this door... Ah! Wait! Nate Wright will drag you down into the mud of mediocrity! <laughs> Wait, you got a bike? Far too dangerous. I carpool. <sighs> I'm guessing you don't have a helmet then, either. Of course I do. I have to protect my big brain. <sighs> yeah, more like butt brain. Hop on! Hmm. Ah! What does she want? She has a huge crush on me, and she thinks I'm in love with you. That's crazy! Oh. <laughs> yeah, I know! I'll save you a dog. Don't tell anyone about this. Are you kidding me? This is gonna be chapter one of my memoir. <sighs> uh, 
Okay, you were right. Camping's dope! Want to do a friend camping trip sometime? Maybe our parents can take us. Claro que see you there! Can I come? I want to come. <laughs> sure, we're all friends here. <sighs> For demonstrating the barest minimum level of competence, your Wilderness Warrior Award. I won? I won! Booyah! The rights continue to dominate. Just call me the most awesome kid in the class. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake, Nate, please just take one and pass the rest back. Um... Wait, 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 wait. Everyone gets one? Just for participating? Seriously? Oh, look at this. It says, I participated. I can't tell you what to do. I can only tell you that the man out there loves you. Not just the woman he met at Bobby Weston's 26th birthday party, but the woman you are today. The woman you'll be in 10 years, 30 years, heck, 50 years. You really think so? I know I think I think I know so. Thank you. I'm just doing my job. Ooh. Always the bridesmaid, never the bride! Thank goodness you're here. Francis and Betty have been cycling through the same three songs, and the guests are going crazy. Then we can't do any of our regular songs. May I take liberty to sing private love song I wrote for Jenny? No, barf. Nate! Oh, fine. <laughs> okay, then. In the KFC. <laughs> In my tiny village in Stogravia, I dream about a girl like you. Eyes bright like the flaming goats, we sacrificed for good harvest of oats. Lips so soft, they call to me, like friendly sheep dog devoid of fleas. Oh, American dream girl, you are to me the whole world. Just a new start You are my petty capitalist sweetheart I can't contain myself much longer Can't you hear my heart? Girl, it beats so brazenly Cause I love you Him modestly Whoa, Can't you hear my heart? Girl, it beats so brazenly Cause I love you Mr. Galvin, are you okay? I just missed my Sheila. <laughs> she was one in a million, even though all lizards look exactly alike. It's just a shame. <clears throat> I had arranged for Sheila to go to a local zoo because she was pregnant. Pregnant? <gasps> she was set to lay her eggs any day. Four months from now, they would have been hatched, and I'd be a lizard father. <laughs> how did we miss Sheila being pregnant? Better question, how is Sheila pregnant? She lives alone. Could be a lizard miracle. Happens more often than you think. It is a mystery. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we did the right thing. Sheila has time before her babies hatch. She'll find a new home. Four months is a lifetime from now. Four months later. Wow, I can't believe it's been four months. What have we all been up to? I'll tell you what I've been up to. Detective Samantha Jade has done a deep dive into our unexploding home ec teacher. I've had eyes on his home for months, and as far as I can see, Gray didn't exist before coming here. I mean, come on! What is he hiding? Uh, a love of pleated pants? Dee Dee, it's been four months. Why are you still in character? We're still in rehearsals. The show was postponed because Dr. Legay's had a medical emergency. Now give me the face of an 18-year-old ingenue or I'll throw a tantrum that will buckle your knee! 
Please! You guys want more proof? I pulled it off the web. He's clearly a hitman! Wait, why would a hitman put himself on the web? We need to tell Principal Nichols there is a felon teaching in this school. Something bad is going to happen. My character can feel it. Don't worry, Dee Dee. Nothing bad's gonna happen. I like to call this technique Twirly Boots McStillskin, because why not? Did anyone hear something? Principal Nichols, Mr. Gray talks, dresses, and behaves like a criminal. I've prepared a detailed breakdown in the janitor's closet. Nate, right if I find out this is some kind of trick? Principal Nichols! We're under attack! <gasps> Sheila! Figure skating has been forbidden in the Applewhite family ever since. Chad, my boy, you're in luck. Nate Wright is going to graciously and selflessly help you break that curse. Uh, while you help me overcome my deep trauma around figure skating so I don't embarrass myself in front of the entire school. Uh, did I mention I made a blood oath? You did. Okay. Okay? Wait, that that's it? After all that? Yeah, I'm easy. I heard you found another partner. Escape better than I can. I saw it with my own eyes. I fell to the ground. Is it because I turned you into a popsicle? I guess that may have been a little bit too much. Is that what made you give up on our love? Welcome to step two, homework. It's important for Nate to actually get his homework done. Not only will he get better grades, but the academic effort will sharpen his brain. <laughs> you imagine Nate doing homework. Chad, we've been at this for hours. Maybe it's time we attempt the Rusty Bazaar. Yeah, I mean, why not? I've had a full life. have powerful sniffers. It's how we survived so long in the old country. This isn't what it looks like. It looks like my son is engaged in forbidden moonlight ice skating with his best friend. Well, it's exactly what it looks like. Oh, you are grounded indefinitely! You will never ice skate or see that foul-smelling right boy ever again! <coughs> <laughs> I smell? What's that ah! sketch, fam? Oh, we were just enjoying some downtime, Nate. Huh, that's weird. I don't see downtime on here. You guys up for an activity? Uh, 
Well, I'll be gluing this plate back together now, if you'd like to join me. Yeah, that sounds like fun! Ah! Wow, I'm gonna need a lot of glue. <laughs> oh, hey, Francis! Yeah! What's next on the old sketch? I'm bored. Everywhere. It's like he's inside the house, but also somehow outside the house. <gasps> what are you doing, Dad? I think he must be in the walls. It's the only logical explanation. Okay, but that means isn't there a better way? Ugh, oh, another beautiful morning. <laughs> oh, uh, hi there, Nate. I know what you've all been thinking. We don't have time to schedule everything for Nate. Well, lucky for you, I took the planning into my own hands. From now on, every minute of every day will be scheduled uh, by me. He can't do that. Can he do that? No rules against it in the Pope family charter. Come on, folks. We've got some fun to get through. The game, floor is lava. Okay, so our engineered hardwood floor is... Hot lava? Oh, yeah, so you better not fall in. What happens if we do? Well, when you do, your skin will be scorched and it'll, like, slough off. You're gonna need a lot of grafting. It's pretty horrific. Ah! Ah! Ready? Go! Ah! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, uh, what's the play here, Fran Fran? Jump or drown? Either way. Yeah, the options aren't looking that great from here. Uh, Nate, can we take a break? <sighs> I'll tell you when it's break time. Again, break time. Okay, it's break time. <laughs> aren't you guys gonna join? Uh... Come on, guys, it's on the schedule. I mean, seriously, it's like I understand the Pope family laws better than they do. Now, I have adjusted the schedule such that everyone in the house is allocated 10 minutes in the shower. Oh, I mean, that doesn't seem so bad. Combined. And there it is. Well done, Popes. Well done. <laughs> Aren't you gonna go next, Nate? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I only bathe during the full moon for reasons I simply cannot go into. These children were in our closet consuming copious culinary confections and creating a chaos. <laughs> I'll put the damages on our tab. Wait, what? <laughs> a small price to pay for the boys getting along, right? <laughs> yes, yes, I, I suppose the boys bonding is the most important thing. <laughs> Whoa, hold the phone. So as long as I'm bonding with Randy, I can do whatever I want? <laughs> uh, game changer. What are you doing to my car? Oh, we're combining our hobbies. Mine's art, Randy's is vandalism. <laughs> I thought you wanted us to bond. Oh, th that's right. Yeah, well, just keep doing what you're doing. <laughs> She's ball pit! You're destroying the carpet! Bonding! Oh, well, sorry to interrupt. Carry on. You'll have to get rid of most of your clothes, Martin. They remind me of my loser ex-husbands. Too Patrick. Too Larry. Ugh, too Ichabod. You had a husband named Ichabod? Oh, this needs to change. Ah, much better. <laughs> <laughs> Nate, Nate, keep calm. Randy is behind you and he's got a weapon. No, 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 he's cool. Um, I invited him. Were you guys playing baseball? Nah, we just like whacking stuff. Show him, Nate Dog. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> uh, sorry, I didn't see that there. It's cool. At least it was in the giveaway pile. We're donating stuff my uncle doesn't want anymore. Oh! To orphans. Hands on the eyes! <laughs> what? I collect eyes. Of course you do. May we have a word, please? Hey, I know your parents are dating, but you shouldn't hang out with Randy on purpose. Oh. I'm starting to think he might be a serial butthead. You don't get it. He never gets in trouble. He's like totally untouchable. And as long as I'm with him, so am I. Who cares? As long as you're with him, people will think you're a butthead too. <laughs> nah. 
They'll think I'm awesome 2.0. Oh, let's go chill somewhere else. Hey, Randy, let's get out of here and... <laughs> Check this out. Yep, you gotta leave, man. Don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. Whatever. Come on, Nate. Let's just go to my place. I'll let you pet my roadkill collection. Yeah, no. I think I'm gonna stay here. Uh, whatever, you guys are bogus. I only came here to be polite. Randy out! <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Randy's a few slices short of a loaf. I don't think he has any friends that aren't in jail. Slow is me to have seen what I have seen. See what I see. Last, but definitely best, Zosha will perform Juliet's monologue alongside, well, technically above Dee Dee, who has graced us with her fickle presence tonight as the balcony. I'm so glad you came, Dee Dee. You're my best scene partner ever. You're my only scene partner ever. Thanks, Zosha. Sorry I was a jerk. You were? From now on, I'll always support you. Like a good scene partner. Like a good balcony. I know you look at me as a role model, and I am. But I forget how lucky I am to be born me. I got lazy. I'll do better for kids who believe weathermen are heroes. Never called you a hero. Romeo, Romeo, where for... I can't do this. Instead of learning my lines, I've been relying on you. I'm not prepared. Hey, you'll do great. You're a star. Legay said so. Okay. Romeo, Romeo, where are so oh, sausages? Hmm. The show must go on. Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? <gasps> Deny thy father and refuse thy name. If lightning strikes, it's sure to hit the highest point, that booth. <laughs> lightning only strikes electric cars. Trust me, I'm a meteorologist. <laughs> Romeo, doff thy name. And for that name, which is no part of thee, take all myself. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I'd like to thank my family for all of their support and my mentor, Donna. And most, most of all, the OG Juliet, Zosha, who taught me to be a team player. Legaze is her dad? Plot twist! No wonder he thinks she's so great. <laughs> she's not better than me. It's a classic case of Hollywood nepotism. So head on in here and we'll get you hooked up with a retinal scan for snack machine access. Did you say retinal scan? Yeah, of course. How do you guys access your snack machines at PS30 Lame? Brigade meets in an hour at the soccer field to get our build on. Wow, look at us. Reunited at last. So, ah! your solution to ending this was bringing Nate even more into your life? Dina, Dean. My little Dingleberry. Don't you see? Now that Nate goes to Jefferson, he's no longer a threat. I've already won. Best part is, Nate has no idea. But he will soon. Hello? Hello? Huh. According to the map, the field should be right here. What? I'm just laying around. Wait a minute. This isn't the soccer field. <laughs> that slimy mole worm is icing me out, literally and metaphorically. Oh, well, 
plague, Nolan. The places I had to pry those frozen leeches from, we will never speak of again. I don't know what you're talking about, Nate. We miss you at sculpture building hour. Oh, shut your whale hole, Nolan. You recruited me to Jefferson so you'd have no competition. But guess what? You still have to design and build an original snow sculpture, which we all know you're not creative enough to do. So ha! Oh, you poor thing. We aren't going to build a sculpture. Uh, what do you mean? Eh, guess it doesn't matter if you know at this point. <laughs> Seriously? Pretty genius, right? Judges will never figure it out. Anybody craving beardy yum yums? Well, it's the day we've all been waiting for, folks. The big freeze. Hello, I'm Wink Summers, former chief meteorologist for Channel 12 Action News. Pretending not to be devastated by my recent emotion to covering human interest stories like this one. Kick it to the curb, youngster. Remember, kids, smile to the tears, smile to the tears, happy faces, judges love happy, 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 happy. Introducing Jefferson Middle! Wow! Everyone, shush! Jefferson Middle will now reveal our amazing sculpture. Presenting the Jefferson Knight! A near perfect score for Jefferson. Gonna be tough to beat. Okay, guys, uh, we did our best, which probably was woefully insufficient. But if we go down, which let's be honest with ourselves, we probably will, we go down as a team. Dude, worst pep talk ever. What are we? Team Awesome! <laughs> it looks like a squash ham. Um, a circle cheese, I think. It's a basketball, right? Is it? It is. <laughs> Super potato sore. You are uglier than I ever imagined. The judges are indiscernibly deliberating, but we have a pretty good idea of the winner here. Right? Jefferson wins! PS38 loses. I win. You're a machine! Booyah! You look like a smooth 